Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids. I'm in the background. <laughs> For my journey to a happier, healthier me on Wednesday. The 23rd. November 23rd, thanks. I'm so horrible with that, eh? Like I never remember. Anyway, I finished this hat today. Angry Birds. Da -da -da. Loving it. And I'm working on this one. This is for Marina's Vice Principal. It's a purple hippo. I have the ears right here. So, I'm going to be going on there. There. So, that's but all. You the buttons on. Yeah. I, used, I actually did use buttons for the eyes this time. I usually don't. But I just thought that that would be really cute. So, um, yeah. alright. So, today was a, um, a weird day. I decided to stay home to try and catch up on everything again and I mean order wise because I have my sale on Saturday for my crochet at the Legion and um, I have so much to get done before then it's crazy I want to make a bunch of character hats to display so that people can order them and in order to do that I don't have enough time right so it's hard it's really hard believe me I'm trying to get my crochet business like really really going and managing to do well in school and I'm doing well in school and trying to keep up with the crochet but anyway <coughs> sorry so I didn't have any breakfast I woke up this morning at my regular time to like go to school and then I decided that I was gonna stay home so I um, stayed up and um, crocheted and then saw Marina off to school and then decided to go back to sleep and did not hear my phone because it was out in the kitchen. Poor Marina was texting me for like an hour and a half. I forgot my lunch, Mom. Mommy, I need my lunch. Mommy, where are you? Mommy, where's my lunch? I need a lunch. Like, Mom! <laughs> anyway, so when I woke up and I got the texts, Kevin was sleeping also. Because when he actually has a day off, he sleeps because he works two jobs, right? So, um... Yeah, he went up to the school and brought her lunch. So problem solved. And then we made a beautiful lunch. I made home fries. Homemade french fries. Not home fries, like potato wedges or whatever you want to call them. Like, you know, breakfast home fries. Real french fries. But I baked them in the oven with a little bit of oil and salt and pepper. And oh my goshness, they were fabulous. Mm. Fabulous. Fabulous. I had my um, caramel pecan bar today, and I had some almond milk that I mixed a little bit of cocoa and sugar with, so it was like a chocolate milk. It was so good. I had an Asian pear. I had, um, oh yeah, I made vegetable gravy with the um, fries. And okay, Miss Cook that I am, not thinking, and. Of course, when you make gravy with flour, you make a roux, and you cook it at the beginning, which is just like, in my case, vegan margarine and flour, and then you cook it for about a minute, and then you add your stock. With cornstarch, you're supposed to do it the other way around. You have your hot stock, and you make a slurry, which is the cornstarch mixed with flour, and you stir it in, let it come to a boil, boil it for one minute, and it's ready. Crazy me, the other day I was wondering why the um, gravy turned into this like jelly substance. Ew, that's so nasty. <laughs> it was because I did it like with flour. Anyway, now that I actually realized what I was doing. So let me tell you about the vegetable sock today. I used the vegetables that we had from Thanksgiving, the peelings that I had frozen and I just threw in some extra stuff. So I had carrots, sweet potatoes, broccoli, celery, regular potatoes, onion, I threw in, it was just the red onion peel, so amazing because it makes the gravy nice and dark. And um, what I did was just um, threw in an extra full onion, cut up, and two cloves of garlic, some salt and pepper, um, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, like the bottom and the top where the stem is. I took the stem off, obviously, but, you know, just that part when you're cutting it into strips and stuff, I just take that part off. 
and mushrooms and it was divine so yummy so that was a definite success and um, for dinner I haven't had dinner because I'm not even hungry and it's 8 o'clock that's really weird for me because I usually have something else wow I've just been crocheting like a mad woman trying to get this done so I am going to eat something. I have some tofu. Oh, I also had a peach mango tofu dessert today. If you have tried these, I love them. They're so good. And I want to say happy birthday to Little Fat Me Blog. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Charlie's like, why are you singing it that way? He likes the traditional. Happy birthday to ya. I'm not going to do the whole song because it's going to be too loud. But that's what he likes because he knows that song and he sings to only that song most of the time. Every once in a while, depending on the tone of your voice, he'll sing to other songs. It's so funny. But anyway, um, yeah, so tomorrow is my um, Wait No More group, and it is already week 10. Is that not unbelievable? So there's only three weeks left, and I'm actually going to make a loaf of bread for them in the morning to take in, and I'm also meeting Angel and her two kids up at uh, Lazy Daisy Cafe that I've told you guys about before. I was so upset this morning I found on their Facebook page but, excuse me, hiccup, kind of hiccup burp thing there, whatever that was. Anyway, um, that they are having an artisan's craft sale on December the 13th, I believe. But I was too late to get a table. Boop. So, I'm a little upset about that because I really, really, really like this place. Like, it's so fabulous and the energy in there, like I said, is just amazing. So, um, fabulous. fabulous, but maybe next time. So, This is an Angry Bird hat, and I'm going to make some more. That's really messed up. Boom, 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 boom. You can see this one? Mm -mm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I haven't done the upload for the washcloth. I'm so sorry, but with exams and everything, my life has just been insane, and then my show on Saturday. So Sunday, I'm free. I'm just going to be doing, like, some Christmas decorating, so I will definitely upload it on Sunday. Saturday afternoon, we're going to go and do some Christmas shopping after the craft sale. So we'll come home, drop everything off, and head out. Friday night, I have to go to, um, like, just, like, Goodwill. And um, I'm going to see if I can get some heavy, heavy pants because the weather is cold here already, like, crazy cold. And poor Marina is cold when she goes out in the mornings. So she did wear her coat tonight, and it fits. Yay! Because sometimes, you know, coats don't fit the next year, right? But we got it kind of big last year, hoping that it would, and it did. So there you go. Um, what else? Socks, Heather, and Persian. I hope you have a wonderful trip. Oh, my God. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see his face with the Morrissey concert. She got him tickets as a surprise for his birthday, because that's, like, his favorite artist ever. They're so adorable, and I love them. And they just celebrated their one-year anniversary so I also wanted to say happy anniversary for that and um oh, why can't I remember her name right now Eminem Lady Z I believe so um I think that's the name Listelle happy one year journey I think she called it so she has been on her weight loss journey for one full year and has lost a hundred and Four pounds, I believe. Amazing. Woman, you rock. She goes to Tops, which is um, taking off pounds sensibly, I believe. That's what it stands for. And it's kind of like, um, you know, a support group kind of thing. You go in and you do your weigh-ins and everything. I don't want to say that it's like Weight Watchers, but it is. And, um, and she's been doing that. But she started after she had already lost 20 pounds. So she, with them, she's lost 84 pounds. I think you are awesome and you totally rock 
And who else do I want to do a shout out today? Um, I think that's it for now. But I do want to say to um, Lisa's vlog, I'm sending out my heartfelt prayers to you and your family. I love you so much, even though I just started watching you. Um, thanks to the connections that we have in the YouTube Weight Loss Community page on Facebook. Um, and I'm praying for her safe return. I put the link up on my page. So her um, cousin's ex-wife, I believe, is missing. And it's all over the news and it's gone, you know, national pretty much. So praying, praying, praying for her safe return. And uh, appreciate everybody else's prayers. So um, that's it for tonight. Sorry for the little bit of a, you know, not at all downer because um, prayer is a positive thing. And prayer in numbers is wonderful. So with our fabulous weight loss community that we have going on here and the people on a journey like myself to a happier, healthier you, we are all coming together for this and we are praying together and more bonding is happening in our community than ever before. It's wonderful and I love you all for it. So that's it for tonight. I will see you hopefully tomorrow if I'm not too tired when I get home. All right, everybody, love you. Share your smile. <laughs> Bye.